Hello, Telegraph readers. We did a poll just before the Autumn Internationals. You decided who you would like to wear the famous red jersey for the Lions against Australia in 2013. And I chose the 15 I think should take the field. We'll have a look at some pros and cons. We'll see where we agree, disagree, and we'll try and come to some sort of agreement. However, as it's my team and no one else is here, I'm always going to win. We're going to start with the back three in the backs. These are the guys we put on offer initially. We have George North, the outstanding left winger for Wales. We've got up on the screen Chris Ashton, missed the first test against Fiji, will definitely be back against Australia. Rob Carney, injured at the moment, but outstanding last year and an outstanding Lions series back in the uh, summer of 2009. We have Lee Halfpenny, who we've got down as a left wing, allows you in this modern era to play with two fullbacks. Got a huge boot, again, didn't miss a kick against Argentina. And Tommy Bowe, the master, master poacher. You lot picked Carney to play at fullback. I agreed. I think he's an outstanding footballer when he gets fit for Leinster. Ball handling ability, he was brilliant uh, when he's already worn the red jersey, so he brings it with confidence. You lot picked Tommy Bowe on the right wing, who's an outstanding finisher, poacher for Ulster. And then you had the giant on the left wing, which is George North. Again, an absolute monster, had a great World Cup, so he's right in the mix. I differ slightly. I have, I'd literally had half penny when I was first asked. But I'm going to stick with George North on the left because he's a man mountain. And I'm going to throw into the mix my first Englishman, Chris Ashton, who I think is absolutely world class. So three I've gone with to disagree. I've picked Carney at fullback. I agree with North on the left wing. Two out of three. You guys went for Bo. I think Ashton will storm through the rest of this autumn series, have an outstanding Six Nations, and might even be my number one choice when it comes to back three players come the summer. OK, we're going to move on to the centres now. I know what you're thinking. You can see the screen below me. You can see the screen behind me. You're screaming at it going, where is Brian O. Driscoll? The funny thing is, you didn't pick him and I didn't pick him. Needs to play his way back into form. No doubt he'll be in contention come the summer. But the three centres that we seem to mix and match with for selection for that first test in Australia are Jamie Roberts, inside centre for Wales. And then we've got two outside centres in the mix, Manitou Alangi and Jonathan Davis. OK, you guys went for Jamie Roberts at inside centre and Manitou Alangi at outside centre. Fair core. Can't really argue with that. Man of the series in 2009. Outstanding performer, two tries against Fiji. England's main attacking threat when it comes to taking the big boys on. However, I'm going to shift it around slightly. I think the best outside centre in the Northern Hemisphere at the moment is actually Jonathan Davis. Missed the first game against Argentina with an injury. Just a wonderful performer. I just think I want to move this guy to Alangi closer to the ball. I don't think he gets enough of the ball when he's in an England jersey. We've got one choice that we agree with, Manitou Alangi. However, different position. You pick him outside with Jamie Roberts. I pick Manitou Alangi at inside centre and Jonathan Davies at outside centre. But we all know someone called O'Driscoll will come with a run in the Six Nations. Now, don't think I don't read your comments at the bottom of some of my articles. Of hurling abuse at me, disagreeing with me all the time. So it's a joy when I come across a couple of selection issues that you all agree with me on. The halfback scenario for the Lions next summer. We agree that Johnny Sexton should start at outside half. We agree that Mike Phillips should start at scrum half. Johnny Sexton definitely plays at 10. Nine might be a slight issue with Mike Phillips playing in France. Difficult to really pick a guy to play number nine in the Lions jersey if he doesn't start for his country. Not impossible. Right now, as it stands, our halfbacks pulling the strings. Mike Phillips at nine, Johnny Sexton at 10. So, the conclusion to this very, very one-sided debate is the team that I expect at this stage to play for the British and Irish Lions against Australia next summer has Phillips and Sexton at 9 and 10, which we did agree on. In the middle, I go for Tuolangi and Davies. You had Roberts at 12, Tuolangi at 13. I moved Tuolangi close to the ball and bring in Davies at 13. And then my back three, we agreed on two. Carney at fullback, the giant George North on the left wing. You lot picked Tommy Bow. I pick the poacher that is Chris Ashton. Sorry to all my Scottish friends, no one in the backs. We'll see how you do in the forwards.